Let me now go to digestive systems. Here some of the enzymes are given in our flow chart. So first enzyme I told Tayalin. Tayalin is nothing but salivary amylase. When I started from the mouth, so that one only now salivary glands are producing salivary amylase. It can secreted by salivary glands, which is secreted into buccal cavity. Buccal cavity means the, the space which is present in the mouth we call it as buccal cavity. So which juice is secreted by dialin? If you are seeing observing the picture now. So thialin is secreting saliva juice. Saliva juice. This saliva only mixes with food material. So these are the thialin which is acts on carbohydrates. So what is the end product it will become? Maltose. So first enzyme is over. So once again I can say thialin that is also called as a salivary amylase which can secreted by salivary glands which is secreted into buccal cavity and what is the juice produced by thialin or salivary amylase? Yes, very good. Saliva which is acts on carbohydrates that is also called as our end product maltose. Second one, pepsin. It is also one of the enzyme which is secreted by gastric glands and which is secreted into at all the stomach which is also mixed with the gastric juices now yes the stomach which is secreting gastric juices not only gastric juices this here is also produced here only like here which can kill the harmful bacteria so this gastric juice which is acts on uh, pepsin is acts on proteins the end products of the proteins peptones is coming from the proteins peptones is coming from the proteins so basically the stomach which is acts on proteins with the help of pepsin enzyme so two enzymes over let us see third one it's a very important bile bile i told already secreted by in the four classes only i told liver bile secreted by liver i told before the topic bile does not have any enzymes here that's why they wrote here no enzymes is produced in bile but the gland, which gland is produced? Liver is producing bile. Secreted into duodenum. Duodenum is one of the part which is attached to that stomach and liver. Let us see juice. Which juice is producing? Bile juice. Bile juice secreted by only liver. So this bile which is axon or liver axon fats. These fats are involved in the emulsification process. What is the meaning of emulsification? Breaking down of large fat molecules into small globules. That process we call as emulsification. So which of the enzyme does not have no enzymes? Yes, that means bile. Bile is a substance which does not have no enzymes, which is secreted by liver gland. Basically, which is axon fats. Finally, it comes to small globules. That is the product. Amylase. What is meaning of amylase? So this amylase is secreted by pancreas. So salivary amylase is different here, amylase is different, not the same. Amylase which is secreted by pancreas, secreted into duodenum and which juice is produced again, again pancreas, pancreatic juice only. Pancreas producing pancreatic juice and this amylase which is axon with the help of pancreas, carbohydrates, the end product, if you are seeing before the topic, are uh, both the lines, mantos, peptone, mantos. Again, you can see the mantos, peptone, pancreas, and glycerol. So, the amylase, which is axon carbohydrates, with the help of pancreatic juice, which is secreted by pancreas, the end product is maltose. Let us see trypsin, fifth one. Trypsin, which is also secreted by pancreas only, and which is also secreted into duodenum. And the pancreatic tissue also produced, but trypsin is acts on proteins. These proteins and product peptones. If you are saying proteins are always and product peptones only, carbohydrates always maltose only, fatty acids are always glycerol and fatty acids only. Let's see lipase. Lipase, which is also secreted by pancreas, which is secreted into duodenum, and the juice is also same only three of them. 
and which is the life phase which is acts on a whole when i explain all the theory only facts what are the end products fatty acids and glycerol so up to now some of the digestive systems over let us see seventh one peptide ages here small intestine releasing some of the juices that is succus endricus that we call as intestinal juices so this is also a axon peptides which can giving end product of amino acids and this sucrose which is the axon sucrose which can giving glucose okay peptide ages which gland secreted intestinal gland secreted into small intestine this small intestine producing intestinal juice with the help of peptide ages only peptides axon peptides these peptides are giving end product amino acids let's see in the eighth one sucrase not sucrose sucrase it is also secreted by intestinal gland and secreted into small intestine and intestinal juice is producing it is acts on sucrose that means cane sugar and finally the end product of the sucrase that means glucose here some important digestive systems are yeah, enzymes are there so if you are reading this table definitely it can give in our public examinations uh, which enzyme is acts on carbohydrates which enzyme does not have any enzymes and which of the juice is secreted by pancreatic pancreas which juice is secreted by liver what is called emulsification is all all important question in the answers so let us see i am asking some questions name the enzymes which acts on carbohydrates can you observe the table yes first one amylase which is acts on carbohydrates and first two table is there not tyalin that is also acts on carbohydrates if you observe in the table carefully you can give the answers very easily so can i ask another question so second one what are the end products of the fats if you are seeing that end products of the fats that means small globules are fatty acids let's see what are the enzymes acts on proteins here enzymes acts on proteins that means second one pepsin and fifth one trypsin is also acts on proteins so pepsin and trypsin is the main enzymes which is acts on proteins finally i can ask one question which digestive juice contain no enzymes if you are observing the total table so which digestive juice is containing no enzymes yes that is nothing but third one if you observe in the picture bile juice bile juice does not secrete any other enzymes so where does it flow located or secreted yes it's secreted by liver it's secreted into duodenum this is the main important uh, chart we seen in our first lesson about digestive enzymes let's go to the topic flow chart of human digestive system so here before the we explain some of the digestive enzymes let's see the flow chart of human digestive system so from i think maybe two before two classes only i completed this one how the food is comes from the mouth to anus here also we can see because the flow charts is also given in two marks or one marks or half marks they are missing some of the boxes you can complete these boxes if you are observing clearly you can know that how to fill the uh, this flow chart let's see here what do you think is the process of digestion so how the digestion process is going on what parts are involved in the digestion and what are the major steps which is involved in digestion i told absorption defecation ingestion and digestion is also a major step which is involved in the digestive system let you see first of all here one picture is i already uh, showed here it start from the mouth what is comes into the mouth yes food is comes to the mouth with the help of our salivary glands which is also use teeth as well as tongue and jaws and it reach to the buccal cavity so it's a oral cavity also we call as 
From mouth to buccal cavity, the food is passing. Let us see. It passes through the pharynx. Pharynx is nothing but one of the main part which is presented at our buccal cavity. This contains one of the portion that means epiglottis. Here at the pharynx, the food is going into the food pipe. Wind is going into the wind pipe. Who maintain is nothing but by the help of epiglottis. Epiglottis, it can useful to there is maintain that is a tropic constable which is sending air into the uh, uh, wind pipe as well as food into the food pipe. At the pharynx only the epiglottis is present. How do you understand now? Yes, pharynx is nothing but which is having that connected to larynx also. Larynx is also called as a voice box. The sound is protrude through the uh, larynx. Then only the sound comes out of our mouth. Let's see pharynx. Okay, larynx we see in second lesson. Pharynx. Pharynx contains epiglottis and glottis. This is responsible for sending food particles into the food pipe and wind particles into the wind pipe. Let's it goes to the esophagus. What is the another name of esophagus? Yes, that is nothing but food pipe. Food pipe is also called as esophagus. Now the food particles which is comes from buccal cavity to esophagus along through the pharynx, it is comes to stomach. How many hours it wait? Yes, two or three hours the food is waited at the stomach portion. Let's see here some of the juices is produced now that means with the help of pepsin. Yes, and gastric juices are also produced here only. So this stomach again which is containing duodenum, this duodenum which is related to that liver and pancreas. And which juice secreted by liver? Yes, that means by juice. By juice secreted by liver, pancreatic juice secreted by Pancreas. So clear up to now. Food goes to the mouth. Mouth goes to that. Um, the food goes to that buccal cavity. Again, that whatever the food comes from the buccal cavity, it reaches to the pharynx. Pharynx to esophagus. Esophagus to stomach. At the stomach, it is divided like as uh, duodenum part, and it will send to the liver as well as pancreas also. Yes, some of the enzymes which is involved in digestion process also. Let us see. So the digestion process is going on here. The food particles, whatever the complex food molecules are converted into small food molecules, finally it reaches to the small intestine. Here some of the juices are also secreted, carbohydrates, proteins, fats are broken down here and with the help of some of the lipases and KMLAs and trypsin. These all are the enzymes which is involved in the small intestine also. How food is absorbed in the small intestine? I am asking question. That means with the help of villi, with the help of villi, villi is a finger-like projection which is seen in small intestine. These villi only absorb in the food material inside the small intestine. Let us see whatever the food particles it is. Okay, it is useful now. Whatever the food particles are useful, it is released to the circulatory system that is called absorption at the And whatever the unwanted particle, it is reaches to the large intestine. This large intestine is sending waste particles or unwanted substances to rectum. So this rectum is again sent to the anus. Finally, the defecation process is going on here. That means large intestine. So here ingestion is also happen and digestion process is also happen from stomach region as well as absorption which is uh, at the small intestine and finally the application process is also involved. These are the major steps which is seen in flowchart of human digestive system. Let us see health aspects of elementary canal. In nowadays we are serving so many persons in which is secure they cannot maintain regular intervals of food maintenance. That's why they have to face so many problems. What are the problems they face? Basically, they face answer problems as well as elementary canon problems also. So many persons, they are affected by elementary canon problems. Let us see what happened. These 
in battery cannot if you are not maintaining the food proper proper usage of food material if you are observing that if you are taking over food means if you are taking more food so definitely we can feel some sensation in our uh, stomach region as well as in our bagaya uh, or battery canal also sometimes whatever the excess food we take in now that food sometimes it comes from against stomach to esophagus i told uh, when the uh, bucket cavity to esophagus esophagus to stomach some of the wavelet movements are occurred here peristaltic wavelet movements peristaltic wavelet movements so by this way the food is comes from esophagus to stomach but if you are taking excess food if you are taking excess food sometimes it be uh, we feel something in our alimentary canal or stomach region at that time the food is comes from stomach to esophagus that means alimentary canal at that time reverse manner it will come that process we call as reverse peristalsis okay so if you are taking excess food material so simultaneously uh, our body is telling you are not taking any food at the time leptin is releasing leptin hormone is releasing again we are taking more food material at the time it will comes through reverse manner from stomach to esophagus we see this reverse peristalsis is in some of the animals like cow buffalo goat camel these all the best example for chewing the food maybe again it will comes from the little take from the stomach to their mouth so but it cannot see in our human beings if it is happen definitely some of the health issues will be coming clear about it that's why at the same time uh, if you are brushing your teeth at the morning early morning so sometimes some of the persons they face a small green color vomit will be coming from the that portion we call as a bilious or liverish that means pulcherous bilious and liverish at that time vomiting sensation will be happening so here liverish is getting more 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 uh, problems that is nothing but bilious and liverish so this is also happen which we if you are not making a good healthy habits clear about healthy food habits if you are just if you if you maintain definitely we can cross out the alimentary canal problems so that's why this bilious is also one of the reverse peristalsis method let you see how can you overcome this these health aspects are health problems by alimentary canals let you see what are the main main uh, food habits we can follow that is something like you see in the uh, basically if you are in busy schedule we cannot take a uh, lesser manner food materials that's why it is best method if you are taking leisurely uh, food materials you are taking leisurely manner it will take uh, it will giving good digestion first clear okay how can you overcome that uh, these are the health healthy habits are healthy food habits just you can see that some of the persons uh, to avoiding some of the health uh, according to health um, some persons they are taking leisurely food materials is nothing but first of all if you are maintain well balanced diet that's the main thing well balanced diet so this is the first step to avoid uh, according to our health aspects of the elementary canal problems so if you are taking well balanced diet well balanced is nothing but all the food nutrients in requiring proper amount that is nothing but well balanced diet second one so if you are not hurriedly eating if you are taking leisurely manner that means uh, four hours after again four hours we have to take it now means it will pro giving proper digestion process also so leisurely manner we are taking food material and finally 
you are making more drink or drink plenty of water for further digestion. Drinking plenty of water. And we have a uh, hard exercises after eating. Avoid after eating. This is also a main thing we should follow. And next one, basically, uh, when the alicetate and easily manner, we can take that up to bedroom, drinking plenty of water as well as avoid uh, hard exercise after eating also. And at the same time, we should maintain some of the nutritional habits. Nutritional food habits. This is also an important thing that is also part of the pandemic diet. These are the main things we observe uh, to maintain and to avoid some of the health problems according to our health. We should maintain a balanced diet. Leisurely manner we can take the food materials. Drinking plenty of water after eating and avoid hard exercises after eating and maintain some of the nutritional food habits. And these are the main steps we see. These are the main steps we see in the healthy experts of the elementary canal. That's why we have to avoid it. these are the problems also. Clear or not? Okay, here food habits is there now how to maintain the food habits. So here I forget this one. Truly masticating the food is very compulsory. Essential process if you are taking food material. If you are not masticating the food materials, the complex food molecules that cannot broken down into small molecules. That is nothing but simple molecules. That's why we should masticate the food first of all. Before masticating the food, we can chew the food first of all. So this is the main steps we see in uh, how to overcome the elementary canal problems. So observing these are all the uh, many things that you are maintaining in veggie schedule, we can avoid some of the ulcers also. Why the ulcers is happening? Nowadays, the persons who are not taking in proper time, the persons who are in sitting position, and the person who are eating in junk, in junk foods also, these all are they are affected to the uh, stomach problems and burning sensations also happen. This all order, they can affect their health also. That's why we should maintain these are the proper food habits to avoid these are the ulcers also. Clear about you? Up to now, we are seeing flowchart of human digestive system about digestive enzymes and what are the main steps we followed to avoid the ulcers or elementary canal problems. Let you see tomorrow, we see in the diseases in malnutrition. How the nutrition deficiencies happen in some of the persons and what are the problems they face and what are the main vitamins uh, we wanted to have body as well as what are the main vitamins which is required and what are the nutrients which is required more vitamins we see in the next class.